So today, another company managed to put the robotics industry on hold. We've got this company coming out of Shenzhen, China called Engine AI. And in this demo video, what you're about to see is the most realistic walking of a robot ever. So you can see that this robot walks in an incredibly human way. The gait is just absolutely just just incredibly human i mean there's a lot of reasons for this that i will talk about in the latter parts of the video but i want you all to see just how incredible this robot truly is it's kind of something out of a movie because at first when i did see the clip i didn't even think that it was a robot i actually did think it was cgi because the walking motions were so damn perfect so this company has actually been founded only one year ago they're actually founded in october of 2023 with its headquarters in shenzhen i think i already said that but um they focus on the production of general purpose and intelligent robots and i think one of the hilarious things from the demo is that we can see here that they said six months ago there i'm not sure if it was the ceo a team leader but someone at the company was saying that until now most of the humanoid robots walk in a very strange way you can see with bent legs and tiny steps and this is quite true with robotics trying to get humans that walk in a human-like way is near impossible it's a really really hard task to achieve but the fact that they've managed to do this just goes to show their achievement now of course when we look at this he's basically saying look this makes me sick guys you're the top engineers in the world and if they can't do it that's on them we have to change this and you can see that they've managed to achieve this in a relatively short amount of time now of course these people that are working at the company i would argue that they probably have years and years of ai and robotics research it's not just a random group of people coming together but this kind of robot walking around autonomously in such a human-like manner is something that isn't to be scoffed at now i think it's pretty crazy as well that they have only a team of 36 researchers who are working at the company you can see here it says thanks to 36 brothers of the entire engine ai technology team proud of you all salute the outstanding predecessors in the field of robotics and at the same time salute the company that claims to be the world's most advanced ai hardware so this is something that i think is rather fascinating and one of the key things that we do see here is that this robot was actually trained in a simulation as you can see right here as the robot walks from the left all the way until the right we can see that this kind of robot was able to get trained in nvidia's isaac gym now if you aren't familiar with what nvidia's isaac gym or isaac sim is it's basically a place where you can get a 3d model of your humanoid robot essentially you have your robot and you have like a virtual version of that then you take that virtual version and then you train it in this 3d environment now the reason that this is done is because you can see here in this virtual environment you're going to have millions and millions of tries of the robot managing to learn something so sometimes it's like reinforcement learning but for robots and then once you manage to figure out exactly how these robots can perform effectively in that virtual environment all you need to do in theory is apply that to the robot that is in the hardware environment so you manage to get the software right then you can get the hardware right now of course nvidia isaac sim is what you should be using right now but interestingly enough on their page i see that it does say nvidia's isaac gym so i'm not sure why they're using a discontinued version of nvidia's technology but either way they managed to make it work so does it even matter now on their website they talk about the fact that the team is composed of china's first batch of legged robot research and industrialization teams along with experts from top universities such as uc berkeley and many other outstanding universities now this company conducts full stack in-house research and development covering everything from core components to embodied intelligence and motion control algorithms the company's products are designed for various scenarios including scientific research and education industrial manufacturing and commercial services and genuinely i think this is going to be something that is a game changer because once again 
other companies that may have thought they were completely ahead have now realized that look this is something that shows me we aren't specifically ahead as we thought we were so when we also take a look at this right here you can see that this is a, another video that shows the different parts of the engine ai humanoid platform one of the things that you might have not seen here is that the ai's eyes are actually somewhat in the torso so we can see that the sa01 robot platform you can see this amazing stunning cgi video that shows the actuators that were custom built for this robot allow it to walk in this way now i think this is absolutely like i said before incredible and i won't be surprised if we do get an update where we start to see other robotics companies manage to adopt the same walking techniques now this is where things get interesting because we have the robot being hit several times and is able to stand still whilst walking in a human-like way so this is one of the robots that's getting to that human-like robotics area in a amazing fashion it's not just looking good it is also working effectively so once again they do say don't to kick the robots they're going to remember that but this is the company that of course is able to do that and show you how effective it is now we can also see at the end of this short promo video that this is not their only robot they have two other robotics platforms we've got the sa1 which is of course just the legs and the torso as the main focus of course you've got the sa1 pro which is the humanoid platform which is the most human-like robot and then of course we've got the s2 robot which is kind of like a droid i mean i genuinely don't know what to describe this robot as there isn't that much information on the internet about it but i still think that it does look pretty cool for those of you who don't like the fact that some robots are very human looking like the sa01 pro that might be the robot for you and if i haven't talked about it already the reason that this company has taken the world by storm is of course because the fact that they've managed to solve such a long-standing problem in robotics relatively quickly on this humanoid platform means that these researchers are not playing around at all they didn't come to show some fancy demos they came to show exactly that they know what they're doing and that their robot is going to be certainly advanced now china is one of the you know best countries when it comes to robotics they are planning on being the leader in ai and robotics and i think that when you take a look at how many different humanoid platforms there are in China I think it's fair to say that China might actually win the race in terms of hardware versus software so of course that is a pretty powerful statement but if you've ever seen the robots coming out of China we can see that they are consistently becoming more impressive and more capable with every single update now of course it's pretty hard to walk like a human but when you have engineers that are able to do this, they're able to solve that problem of the step off where, you know, most robots nowadays, they look like they're squatting when they are walking. And of course, this is the one that looks super realistic because it moves exactly how a human does, which does require a lot more engineering feats. Now, if you want more details about how exactly this, you know, robotics platform works, you can see that, you know, the other half, the SA01, shows you exactly how the bottom half of the robot is. You've got the walking speed of two meters per second. You've got the expandable chest cavity design. You've got soft curve design, which is more friendly and safe. A long battery life with quick release battery full aluminium exoskeleton and single leg degrees of freedom and a power indicator light it's pretty incredible stuff that we do have overall i think that this company is going to be a force to be reckoned with and i think that you know now that these companies are getting the funding now that there's of course this big race for the leader in robotics i think like i said before that we're going to start to see levels of innovation that we wouldn't have in prior cycles of course you have the standard level of innovation but now there's huge incentive for these companies to be racing ahead 
with their platforms. I mean, I'm pretty sure every company wants to be the platform that AGI is deployed on and is used for an embodied form. And when you've got companies like this that are popping out of the woodwork with such impressive stuff, it's hard to argue that they might not end up winning. Now, I want to know what you guys think about these robots. Are these too advanced? Are they too weird? Do we even need Qanoids? I'm someone that thinks this stuff is pretty cool and they should definitely develop this because, I mean, the world is designed for humans. So it will be interesting to see what happens when we share that with robotics companies like this one. So if you did enjoy this video, let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next video.